So we're going to uh, demonstrate a spread plate technique which is used for colony counts or things like antibiotic uh, susceptibility testing and it involves spreading uh, an even inoculum across the surface of plate media. And we're going to need some equipment to do that. So we're going to need some liquid culture inoculum, a rack for the culture tube, we have a mixer to mix our culture, we have a spreader that we're going to use to spread inoculum on the plate, we have some serological pipettes and a pro-pipette pump to put inoculum on the plate, and we have some alcohol which is used to uh, sterilize the glass rod. We also need a Bunsen burner and a biohazard waste bag for our waste. So to do this technique, I normally start by sterilizing the glass rod because that gives it some extra time to cool. So what we're going to do is uh, light our Bunsen burner by turning the vent off, turning on the gas, and then opening the vent for a nice hot blue flame. We've got some alcohol that we want to keep at least a foot away from our flame for safety purposes, and we're going to take our glass rod and dip that in the alcohol. We're going to let the excess alcohol run off of there, and we're going to use the flame to burn off the alcohol. We don't want to hold the glass rod in the flame because it'll get super hot and that will kill the bacteria that we're spreading. So the alcohol is used to kill the bacteria, the flame is used to burn off the alcohol. I'm going to put the glass rod on the rack. Next step is to mix our culture. And then we're going to take a serological pipette and remove that from the bag. So we're going to take a handle and uh, hold open the mouth of the bag and try and remove it without touching the end that goes in the culture on the mouth of the bag or the top of the other pipettes. We use our pipette pump We need to remove the cap of the tube and flame the mouth of the tube. And then we're going to put our pipette in the inoculum. And I'm going to take up 0.2 milliliters, but only dispense 0.1 milliliters to avoid using the less accurate tapered end of the pipette. Flame the mouth again, return the cap. don't want to use large volumes because that will be difficult to absorb into the media for most purposes. So uh, commonly used volumes are typically less than 0.2 milliliters and we're just using 0.1 milliliter for this one. So we're going to retain 0.1 milliliter in the tapered end of the pipette and dispose of that with the liquid inoculum still in the pipette into the biohazard bag. I'm going to take our glass rod and spread that inoculum across the surface of the plate. You want to work close to the flame whenever your culture are open to let the convective air currents prevent contaminants from dropping into your cultures. And we're rotating this plate to spread that inoculum evenly across the surface. When the liquid has absorbed into the media, the surface of the plate will become sticky or tacky. And that's uh, when the plate is ready, and that's happening now. So we have to sterilize our glass rod because we now have uh, bacteria on there from having spread it on the plate. So we're going to dip that in alcohol, let the extra alcohol run back into the jar, burn off the alcohol, keeping the spreader pointed down to prevent any burning alcohol from running back onto our hands. And now we're almost ready to incubate this plate, except we still need to label it. So we put our name, date, 
and other useful information depending on what the purpose of your spread plate is, uh, such as the type of culture perhaps. And we always label the plate on the outside edge of the plate. And we put the plate in upside down uh, so that condensation does not drip onto our uh, growth in the incubator. 